Hello and thank you for clicking on my channel, Kelly Legends Media. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. If you're, you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button down below. If you like the video, hit give it a thumbs up. And hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified whenever a new video gets dropped. You can come back when you have time and watch it. Okay, so as you can tell by the thumbnail, this uh, video is about a nefarious individual named Rene Boxer Enriquez. The reason why I call him nefarious is because even though he puts on this facade as being a good guy, a rehabilitated guy, um, whatever he wants to try to make himself out to be, the simple fact is the guy is nefarious in every sense of the word. He's an evil man, wicked and twisted in all his ways. Uh, before we talk about his video, let's talk a little bit about that. This is an individual that turned his back on his friends, guys that he called brother, uh, man that he gave a death oath to. He gave his palabra, and that's all we have in this world. That's one thing that nobody can take from us is our, is our, is our word, our palabra, you know? And this guy, he, 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 he missed that all up all by himself. Nobody had to take it from him. He just, he just threw it out there for the dogs, you know? The guy has bad paperwork. He has an R on his jacket. How he got into the organization that he, he participated with, I have no clue, no idea why they'd have an individual like that. In fact, that might be why he, uh, why he left. He might have seen the writing on the walls. He was also uh, roughing it off of his sallies. He'd been talked to, he'd been warmed about it, and he continued with that nefarious behavior. The guy has uh, an inclination to do something, he just moves forward with it. He's a very, very devious man. He had an R on his jacket for something that took place out here on the streets with a, with a young individual and then went into prison still being a deviant. You know, there's certain characteristics of a human being that you need to recognize and stay away from, you know? You don't want to be influenced by the things they say, the things they do, the lies they tell. And that's all this man's whole life's been, just a bunch of lies. He had people on the main line doing things for him and, and, and with their blood, their sweat, their tears to provide for him. And all along, he was just, just, just gaming them, played them. He Play, played the whole fucking ramfla, you know? But the worst part about it is not that he left and that he dropped out. And this is a dropout to the to the real sense of the word dropout, okay? People throw that word around, but this is this is a, a real dropout. He dropped out of his gang, went out ass backwards, shitting on everybody on his way out. Not because he wanted a new life and, and, and he was just tired and fed up and, and he wanted to uh, become a, a, a good member of society and, and make up for his, for his, his evil, wicked doings and his sins. No, none of that. This is, this is a selfish man that we're dealing with. He did it so he couldn't get out of prison and uh, not have to be stressed out or worried about people finding uh, skeletons in his closet and so that he wouldn't have to do the things that it takes to be part of uh, any organization. In other words, he, it's just being a weenie, he boned out and on the way out, told on everybody. Told on his on his organization told them how they do things how they communicate how they move stuff around and, and basically uh increase the security of, of of the housing units where these uh where these men and these organizations were housed you know continued working with the with the with the feds and the sheriffs and yeah okay a regular citizen might say oh well that was good of him you know good job but when you look at it from a character's uh standpoint that's a that that's a horrible character to have that you stab your friends in 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 the back an organization that you've been a part of 
and, and, and were entrusted with secrets and stuff, you turn around and, and tell it them for your own selfish uh, gain. He could have he could have left, got on, kept on trucking down the road, and and been doing his life and everything. This individual got his son unalived. I'd be embarrassed to put my face out there in public, even in a picture, and knowing what happened to, to my son because of my stupid decisions, because of my ignorance, because of my selfishness, you know, and all the things that i done in life. I'd, I'd crawl under a rock, man. But no, he wants to be out there like, like he's going to be this... Uh, Champion of I don't know what champion of bullshit. That's what he is You know this this is the fourth time. I'm doing this video and I'm trying to I'm trying to stay calm about it and just and just uh, Say what I feel without <laughs> Without showing how I feel, you know anyways This guy comes out talking about uh, American me and uh This was his way to step into YouTube and say, hey, click on click on, on the like button, leave a comment. Woo woo woo. I'm a YouTube dude, you know? Chivato. Hey, uh I'll be seeing you guys. Uh this is just one of many of my videos I'll be talking to you guys about. See you soon. Come on, man. What kind of crap is that? In my opinion, anybody who would follow this guy, anybody who would click a like button, subscribe to his channel. Look, when you do those things, you're supporting the person that's that that's doing that channel, that's speaking, that's asking for that support. How can you support a man, a deviant, a liar, a backstabber? A man that could still show his face in public after affecting his son the way he did and his family. You know, it's the same nefarious character that was in prison, that was doing the things he was doing behind bars when he was a part of something. The same dude. He's a sponge. He sees a way to make money and he's going to slither in there and he's going to use information on people to to come up you know what i'm saying uh, yeah i know some of you know oh, you do the same thing no i don't i talk about myself or things that i i've done in the past because of my addictions or whatever or my my gang involvement and the people usually that are doing them with me they've already passed on you know and uh these are things that I've done a long, long time ago to show a certain lifestyle, a certain result of, of being involved in gangs and the streets and, and, and the dope game and all that, you know? This guy wants to talk about American me and, and the, the stuff that happened to these people. And he's still calling these people his friends. He called, he called uh, Shy his friend. He called uh, Lou his friend, Rock on Lou. You know, and you don't do your friends like that, man. What you did was it was you you become an insult. You become a, a, a stain upon the organization. You know, so I don't know what you're gonna try to do. I, let me say something. This guy got like thirty nine thousand views in the first eighteen hours. It doubled in a day. People don't care. They're going to click on. They're going to support some weirdo. This, it'd be like supporting Richard Ramirez. Same thing. You, Boxer admitted it himself. Told the story himself. How he left some girl thrown. Uh, you know, he took her life and left her thrown in the street like a piece of trash. You know. But the dude's no good, man. He's a he's a it's a piece of shit. You know. Not because he dropped out, not because he, he wanted a new life. No, because of the character that he is, the, the character that he's proven to be. 
even to this day, you know? Uh, he mentioned how he was friends with Manuel, with Rock and Lou. Yeah, so was I, you know? With Charlie Brown, yeah, so was I. So what? You know? Why don't you talk about something that you do positive in your life, man? Go get some training. Become an engineer or something. You're so intelligent. Go be an, go get some training. Become an engineer and talk about how, how you could trig angles and, and you learned about different metals, inconol, uh, titanium, gold, and, and, the, and the feed rates and speed rates to cut these metals. Uh, numeric controlled machining and how you can uh, write the programs and set up the machinery and 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 get a blueprint and turn it into a, a part that's going to go on an aircraft that's going to fly to the moon something something worthy uh, uh, of something other than the the garbage that you lived and the and the and the trash that you did and are still doing talk about how it feels to be a rat and a snitch and how it feels to stab your brothers in the back, you know? How it feels to take a young woman's life, you know? How it feels when you found out that what happened to your son and, and the way they found him, you know? The, how, you, the, how you felt. Talk about those things. No, you're going to talk about the same mamadas that everybody's talking about, you know? Everybody's pointing at, oh, this guy's a dropout. This guy's no good. This guy can't go to his neighborhood. This guy, you're the worst. You'll be the worst one of everybody, even worse than Mundo, you know? And, and, oh, I'll be seeing you guys. I hope you support this channel and I'll be coming with some more stories. I said, rub them on your chest. That's it. You know? Anybody who would support any type of person. With this type of background, and I'm not talking about his ex-affiliations. I'm talking about all of the sleazy things he did since he's left that organization. And you support him and support what he's doing, his, his little uh, YouTube thing he wants to do and stuff. Man, really, really speaks volumes of the way we process things, you know. Um, I could not support this dude or his channel. I won't, I won't watch his videos, man. And everything I love, I will not watch his videos. Unless somebody gets at me and says, Hey, Lucky, check out that video, hey. Do a reaction on that thing. This, that was bullshit. Then, yeah, I'll probably go and check it out so I, could, so I could speak on it. But other than that, you know, the last thing I would do is support anything that this Vato's involved in, you know? Uh, I don't know whose channel that is, if it's his or, or he's working with somebody. But, man, come on. Draw the line somewhere, man. There has to be, at some point, you have to be willing to just say, nah, you know what, enough's enough, man. You know, I can't support this this guy with his R in his jacket, you know, with this lady unalive or after what happened to his son. And, and Man, this guy, he could try making, uh, making videos all his life, and, and there's going to be people that aren't walking around with blinders and, and supporting him. And that's a shame. I, I believe it's a shame. Those are my two cents on this. This is my reaction to his video. As far as the movie American Me, I thought it was a mediocre movie. I wasn't that impressed. Um, yeah, you know, it is what it is. What happened to, to the lady that worked for the youth gang services was a terrible thing. But it's true. She had stuff hanging over her from just... Uh, having good relations with the police which was part of youth gang services uh, plan you know you have good relationships when something happens you could step in and get in the middle of the, the police and the incident and try to solve the incident without the police you know getting involved it's a bunch of shit but still she ended up getting a jacket behind it you know uh, Charlie Brown yeah he, he, he became Homeless, like a lot of men do, getting out of prisons without resources and on drugs. And uh, he was found unbecoming, you know. Uh, Rocky Luna, good dude, man. Sorry, I, I, I was sorry to hear uh, what happened to him when, when, when it happened, you know. I was with him in Medium North. Uh, I'm not even going to tell the story, but anyways... 
Uh, I was with Charlie Brown too. Pissed him off one time playing Malias. Malias is an old car game, kind of like spades and and uh, pinochle kind of mixed together. Like I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. Where they have a 45 when you run a uh, two 45s, you get the boot. You know. It, it, anyways, I know some of you remember Malias playing Malias. I played Malias with Charlie Brown one day, and uh, and, and East Max and. Uh, I, I caught him reneging. Uh, you know, I flipped his card. It was there. And he blew it. You know, he blew a fuse. And uh, anyways, yeah, dude had a bad temper. But he was all right too, man. You know, people become homeless sometimes and fall themselves, find themselves addicted at times. They say uh, Rocky got addicted to crack, whatever. So what? You know, there's all kinds of people even that are, are still functioning that are addicted to one thing or another, you know? Uh, yeah, I think boxers full of shit as far as, as far as those being any reasons for anything. But anyways, that's just my opinion. Thank you for watching this video. It's longer than usual. Um, I guess that's what it took to take all of the ranting I did from my other videos, which was shorter. Uh, this one came out a little longer to say what I could say more calmly. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit me up on the comment section. Tell me what you think. Am I am I reading too too much into it? Uh, am I putting too much salsa on the on these tacos or what? Let me know. I don't think so. Uh, this vato's nefarious in every sense of the word. He's an evil, wicked man. Uh, uh, always his mind's always working, man. How to come up and how to bullshit the people around him, including his loved ones. And he don't care who he puts at risk. Not his own blood, not his own family, not his own children. He just this dude is a real piece of work. I, I, I suggest don't support him, don't support his channel, and screw him and anything he tries to do. <sighs> Thanks for watching, people.